Okay, folks, step into my office. Step into my office. My name is Kenneth Perry. I'm your technology expert. Welcome to my channel, K Perry Global. Every device needs office. Every day is an opportunity to achieve with Office 365. It's the best in collaboration, productivity, and security. Office 365 has all the premium applications that you know and love, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Publisher, Access, Outlook, 60 minutes of international calling, a terabyte of OneDrive storage, ongoing support, ongoing updates, and security that rivals none, allowing you to work in a safe environment. It definitely provides you with the premium experience. Today, we're gonna to explore some of the key features in Microsoft Word that's gonna allow you to achieve more. But before we do that, make sure you hit that bell to subscribe to K Perry Global channel, and then feel free to comment if you have any questions. Without further ado, let's hop into the content. No, I'm not showing iWork. No, no, no Google Docs. Man. Office 365, Office. We're going with Office, okay, Office. All right, see you soon. With Office 365, it has features that no other productivity suite has. And we're gonna go over some of the demos like in Microsoft Word. Let's hop into Microsoft Word and see what features that you can use in order to be more productive. So let's open Microsoft Word, go to your search window, Type in Word. Okay. So we opened Microsoft Word and what I'm going to do is just do a quick demo on some of the features that's gonna allow you to be able to navigate and be more productive. The first thing I wanna talk about is the search window. So this search icon right here, anything that you want to do in Microsoft Word, you can find here in search. So if you're a person that doesn't know where margins are, well, you can type in margins. So let's type it in right now. So when I type in Margie, <laughs> okay, well, Margie, Marge, whatever, or margins, then you're gonna get adjust margins. So it's just margins right here. So it takes you there and actually you can adjust right here without having to go find where it's located. It's gonna find it for you, right? So that's the example of search. Dictate is one of Office's intelligence services. It brings the power of the cloud to Office apps to help you save time and be more productive, giving you better results. With Dictate, we're gonna show you how it can benefit you. If you're a person that's a writer and wants to write a book, where well, you can dictate and talk into the computer without having to use your hands, right? So that improves your health and your stamina when it comes to productivity because you don't have wear and tear on your hands. Another benefit is when you're brainstorming, you're coming up with ideas. If you have a Bluetooth device, you can walk around, like I'm a pacer, so I like to walk around the house, right? While I'm dictating into my computer. So if I have a Bluetooth device on, I can walk around and talk into the computer to brainstorm and then go back and edit later. You also have the ability to use punctuation. In order to add punctuation, all you have to do is just say the punctuation you want to use. Let's check out how to utilize the dictate feature. Okay, dictation is easy to activate. How do we activate dictate? Well, you go to the right-hand side of your toolbar and you select the dictate button. It activates it, you hear that sound, and now it's time to talk. Let's try something simple. With Microsoft, we empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more, period. Microsoft is a mobile-first, cloud-first company that creates software that works across all devices, like Office 365, where you have anywhere access across devices to the applications that you know and love and use the most, exclamation mark. Now, how do we deactivate dictation? Simple, by selecting the dictate button. And there you have it, there's dictation in a nutshell. Keep in mind, this is great for those who have disabilities, right? So it's very inclusive, allowing you to be more productive no matter who you are. Stay focused on your work while using the Smart Lookup feature. It allows you to search for information without actually leaving the Word document. This feature is located 
in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote, giving you the ability to use this feature to find anything that you want to define or to provide information on it. Let's hop in and check out Smart Lookup. Okay, so now we have a Word document open, and as I explained before, with Smart Lookup, you have the ability to receive or find information without having to leave the application. Now, how do you do that? You can select a word. It can be any word on your page or a phrase, and you can double click on that word. So for instance, if you don't understand the meaning or you want more information about Amazon Rainforest, you can select or highlight Amazon Rainforest, right click, and then select Smart Lookup. So when I click on that, Smart Lookup pane opens up on the right hand side and it has a lot of information over there. So it has uh, Amazon Rainforest, you can explore, you can define it. Uh, you also have Wikipedia right here, so you can explore Wikipedia if you want more information on Wikipedia. Uh, web search uh, options too, so if you want to search the web, it, it shows Wikipedia again and then it has a Britannica uh, website. You can access no problem without leaving the word application. Let's select more to get more information here. Okay, so it provides me with some information about the, the Amazon rainforest. It also provides me with images here. I can get quick insights about the Amazon rainforest. When I scroll down, it gives me the area, 2.12 million square miles. It also has the Amazon river forest. So I can select Amazon river. And once I select that, it takes me to the web page and provides me more information on Amazon Rainforest in Bing. So that's how you utilize Smart Lookup in order to find the information that you want, which is powered by Bing. Word Researcher gives you the ability to discover credible and citable sources of content that's relevant to your research topic without having to leave the application. You now have a built-in research assistant. By using Researcher and Microsoft Word, you don't have to worry about leaving the application to go to the web and search hundreds of pages. You can streamline your search right here in Microsoft Word. Let's hop into the Microsoft Word Researcher demo to show you how you can streamline your research. Now it's time to do a demo on Researcher. First thing we want to do is we're going to go to the Reference tab because Researcher is located in the Reference tab. So we're gonna select Reference and then select Researcher. Once we select Researcher, there's gonna be a pane that opens up on the right-hand side, uh, giving us the ability to start researching. But we need a topic in order to research, so we have to select a topic, which will be Amazon Rainforest, since we used it in the Smart Lookup demo. Let's type in Amazon Rainforest. Select Enter and then it's going to find the information for me. Now we have relevant topics. It also searches books, journals, and websites. To make this simple for you so you can follow along, we must create a outline. But before we create an outline, we have to click on relevant topics and then select the plus button here because we need a header, right? So now we have a header, Amazon Rainforest. We change this to capital. We're gonna select return. Let's go to read more right here in the overview. Once I select that, then we're going to go down to etymology, select the plus button right there, and then maybe history, plus button right there. So now we have our outline of what we're doing research on today. And now it's time to gain access to the information or the content that we want to research. Okay, let's go back to overview. Now, if I wanted to capture the information that's in the overview, if that was intriguing to me, I can simply highlight that information, add and cite, and it adds it to my document, no problem at all, with a short formatted reference located right here in APA formatting. Awesome stuff, right? AI at its best. Okay, let's go to the next one. It's gonna ask me if I wanna create a bibliography right now. I don't. So I'm going to move forward and go to etymology. So I'll go to my document, select enter. And now I'm going back to etymology. I'm gonna highlight the information that I wanna capture here and then add in sight. And once again, it adds in sights the information for me. Uh, so you get the idea, we're gonna do one more. 
information and history. We're going to once again add and cite. And then, voila, there it is for you. And then it's going to ask you if you want to create a bibliography for those people who want to do so. You can. Uh, or, select no right here. Just going to show you where bibliography is located. Go to bibliography right here. And I can create a bibliography uh, reference or works cited. So either one, so it's create a bibliography and then it shows the bibliography page right there and I can change the formatting. So if I want APA formatting, I can go APA, which is standard and then MLA if I want to change it to the seventh edition of MLA and it changes it for me in my short formatted reference and in my proper formatted reference. Remember, the features that I've shown you today in Microsoft Word only exist with the Office 365 membership. So if you want the premium features and the premium experience, make sure that you go out and grab Office 365 so you can have the best in collaboration, the best in productivity, and the best in security. With that being said, if you like the content, feel free to hit the like button. Keep the comments coming in the comment section right. And then don't forget to subscribe to K. Perry Global YouTube channel. That's right. K. Perry Global YouTube channel. Yeah. And you know, I'm not a professional singer, as you can hear. So I'm out of here. KPI. Talk to you soon. That's it. Why it always seems like I'm talking to myself? No one ever responds back to me when, I'm, when I say that's it. All right, whatever, man. I'm out, man. Cut.